The other night I lived through a nightmare. And that night it filled me with fear. I dreamt that I was giving birth to twins. I heard my mum say, Sophia, they're almost here. Now, I do believe that every child is a blessing, a direct gift from God. But on this occasion, I turned to the nurse and I said, wait, please, hold on. My kids are going to have skin like me, stained by the sun's verse. And I know that black has its own magic, but on this land it seems to be cursed. And those that I'll be trusting to protect my twins, it hurts to say that they're the worst. So how do I teach my kids to look past race when they're identified by their race first? Policemen with blackheads' intentions to exfoliate. A judge with some phobias prefers magnolias. Missing CCTV, he's innocent, I know he is. A stereotype so deep, so deep you're provoking him. You poker man, it's poker man. Of course he's gonna stick or squeeze you. Just cause to stop and search or bluff and please, we don't believe you. Forced to teach our young that they haven't got a right to need you or the right to be alright and be black all at the same time. Teach our young that their black is magic but it's also a crime. Tell them to act right and be polite and always keep your hands where they can see them. Because the moment the police have seen your pigments you've already given the pigs enough reason so i'm giving the kids a real teaching and i don't mean to be preaching but only god's words are really reaching so as you walk through the valley of the shadow of death i pray that you're aware of these evils please be careful of these people take your hood down don't move too fast and please don't be too outspoken and please don't mistake this verse for anger this is a verse for all the hearts broken because lord knows my heart broke when i woke to the news of another mistaken identity another one dead earlier than he was meant to be and then, another victim of racial abuse. It was a first year, just trying to do uni. Hadn't even met his ACS yet, the locals caught him whilst he was moving. Asked, what's a monkey like you doing out of the zoo? So of course he wasn't approving. He turned to them and asked, what exactly are you alluding to? They said alluding. That's a big word for someone like you. He said someone like me, they said someone like you. Before they continued to verbally abuse, they started punching him up. So he started to shove. They said, that's not something that you want to do. Because regardless of how this turns out, they're only ever going to arrest you. How do we teach our kids that even when they've done no wrong, their rights may still be denied? How do I teach my son that racial stigmas exist, but still teach him to have pride? How do we teach our kids that sometimes justice just doesn't apply to them. That they can come from a good home, go to a good school, do no wrong, but somehow still end up dead. And Lord have mercy, how do we teach our girls to be strong instead of scared? Teach them that our men need their magic for them to love them through their fears. Teach them that the love they give is a direct reflection of the love that should live within. Meaning the hate that they give is a reflection of the hate that lives within them. And when hate lives within man, there is no space for justice within. How on earth are we going to teach our kids about the power of their skin? I will tell her that she isn't burnt. It's just that the stars live so close to her skin. So if she bites her tongue for too long, this very earth may cease to spin. I will tell her to pour constellations from her lips and write poems along Orion's belt. I will tell her that vulnerability is a strength that only the brave have ever felt. And I will tell him why his anger scares me. Inform him of the powers that be. Have necessary conversations with him about masculinity and sensitivity. And eventually, I will have to tell him what different looks from the police can mean. Explain that people fear what they can't understand. And they hate what they can't comprehend. So that red in their eyes is confusion as to how the universe's light lives within your dark skin. And that red in their eyes can turn to jealousy as to how the light and the dark can live within you, my black boys, my young kings. Keep grinding, keep rising, keep shining, my young queens. I know that sometimes our existence can be tragic, but don't ever. Let them man steal your magic. Say their names. George Floyd, Michael Brown, John Crawford, Oscar Grant.
save your names. Justice for Ua, justice for Tina, justice for Jennifer, justice for the girl child. Thank you.